What's up, guys? Don't tread on me. So I'm driving around and uh, I stumbled upon this. And I was about to go home and uh, I found a car parked at an off-road angle. I didn't know if he got an accident or what. Sure enough, I looked and there's a unmarked unit that pulled him over. So, except for the driver's safety of the, of the Hyundai or whatever car it is, I'm gonna just, sorry, I'm gonna keep eyes on him. As I was pulling off, he looked like he just initiated the stop. So, uh, he's now in his car running the guy's information. So, there you go, guys. If you're not subscribed uh, to my channel, go ahead and hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. So the more of you that join my channel, the closer I get to, go, uh, to going live. I'm at like 278 right now. So my, that's my goal is to get to a thousand subs so I can go live with you guys. But, uh, Keep an eye on this traffic stop. See if I can talk to the driver when this traffic stop is over. I don't think the police honestly need to use unmarked cars because anybody could put strobe lights and police lights in the car and pull somebody over. I got you guys zoomed in, but I'm like, oh, I'm well, probably about 60, 50, 60 feet away. I'm just zoomed in. So that, in that case, if God forbid the officer does anything, then I'll have uh, footage of him doing it. Yeah, I'm all the way zoomed in. So right now it looks like the uh, cop is probably calling for backup or or uh, running the guy's license. Just did that truck block me. I'm going to move over here. I was honestly uh, going home, or uh, going home actually, and I noticed uh, again this car was uh, parked at an awkward angle. That raised my suspicion. Then I see the undercover cop, uh, and the un or not the undercover cop, excuse me, but the unmarked unit cop 
talking to the driver. So I quickly uh, turned around, parked at a undisclosed location, and um, decided to uh, do a cop watch. Hopefully, uh, talk to the driver of his car, tell him to uh, always report the police, which everybody should. Huh? Oh, your phone died? That sucks. Hold on. Yeah, just always have a cord in your car to plug it in. To make sure he doesn't mess with the driver. To make sure he doesn't mess with the driver. Huh? <laughs> I'm also here here for him, not you. I'm here for him, not you. I'm just here to make sure you don't get hurt. So is the camera. Is it he, if he hurts you, you don't have video footage of it. You, you never be too sure with these guys. What do you stop you for? So I've been out here for eight and a half minutes now. I'm going close to nine minutes and the officer's, looks like he's just calling it in for backup. So the driver of the car doesn't even know why he's pulled over. And his phone died, so he can't have a way to record the traffic stop. Hmm? 
Sure. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I got my own channel, so I'm doing this for my channel, and so stumbling across this. I think so. Mike? Okay. Mike? Alright. Don't worry, I'm not gonna put you on this picture. Williams and Broadway is where he stopped. Yes, sir. Especially though it's an iPhone he's saying. Four four nine eight four two seven five. Four nine eight four two seven five. So yeah, I saw him pulled over at an awkward angle and then I saw the I thought it was like an accident and then I see the Four nine eight. Four nine five. Four two four nine eight four two seven five. I got here like right as he was talking to the driver, and I've been here ever since. Eight one three. Nine hundred. Eight one three nine hundred. Eight five five four. Guys, do not call that number. We're trying to help this guy out, please. So, there's a young lady next to me trying to get in touch with somebody that knows this guy to to help this gentleman out. So the cop still hasn't gone out of the guy's car. I think he's waiting for backup, honestly, guys. But please do not call that number. We're trying to help this guy out. Be respectful. Girlfriend? Girlfriend on the way. So she wants me to keep her updated. <laughs> Is she around here? Or? No, I asked her if she could come down here. She said she can't. But she asked me. If Is she, she at like work or something? Or? I don't know. Oh, okay. But she said yes, please keep her updated. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Well. Hopefully stay here and help this guy. I got a YouTube channel where I just do this. Basically just do this and just watch these guys. I've seen one too many videos of what these guys do to anybody. It don't matter race, color, what. Yeah. I saw one the other day where this older woman had dementia and they, you know, fractured her arm and left her in the cell for six hours with no medical help. She'll let, we'll let her know.
We got in touch with her, but we'll let her know if anything goes, anything changes. I got you, dude. Parents wonder why kids are getting hit. I mean, if I if I had a kid and that happened, I'd be like, look, if you get hit, I give you permission to hit that kid back. If the teacher doesn't say anything or do anything, hey, amen. That's how. If I had, let you first. Exactly. If they hit you first, it's game on. They can talk all the trash they want, but if they lay hands on you, game on. Uh, I didn't see the initial stop where he pulls him over. I saw him. I thought somebody got in and like rear-ended him or something. So, and then I come down this way and I see the him in the white shirt, and I'm like, oh, it's a traffic stop because now I see the light. So I've been here for now for like 16 minutes. Going close to 17 minutes now and he hasn't gotten back out of his car. I think he's just... I think he's honestly calling for backup or just wasting time. Yeah, no kidding. I personally think they don't need undercover, uh, unmarked cars. Anybody can put lights in that, like yeah. that, in their car. I had one where I was driving with my sister, and she noticed that there was a car in the passenger side, and she pulled over and just looked at the lights. Hey, you bet, dude. Of course. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Go home, charge up your phone, and look up Cop Watchers on YouTube, dude. Cop Watchers. But uh, yeah, I saw one video a couple years ago where this guy had he, uh, put lights, uh, overhead lights in his car and uh, pulled the guy over and he robbed him. When he get, when this cop leaves, I'm gonna be like, look, dude, you always gotta have your phone charger in your car. You always gotta have your your cell phone on you, or if all possible, always press record. Cause you never know what kind of cops. Good cops are fine, but you gotta weed out the bad ones. I parked not too far from here. I just hope my car doesn't get tired. Yeah, I'm right there. Like, uh -huh. I saw you right here and I was like, I'm gonna turn around. Nah, I just parked right ahead. Mm -hmm. I just parked right ahead. Like, literally right in front of the gate. Yeah. So I'm hoping my car doesn't get towed because then I'd be screwed. But now, if you look up cop watching yourself, you'll see a bunch of other people that go out and do this. And they film. Yeah. These guys are acting like assholes, and but you know they're. It's the cops' egos that gets them in trouble. 
they, I mean, you know, they beat the hell out of you, but they still want you to respect them. Now, how does that work? It's like, okay. What? Is that a crime? No. Yeah, no, that's what I would have been like. Oh, no, I'm gonna call him and you're fucked. Yeah, I would have called him and I would have been like, dude, you're fucked. I did. I called afterwards and I was like, so this is what just happened. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this officer's gonna be fucked. I mean, I mean screw putting them on administrative leave and all that crap, you know, time off with pay. Screw that, fire the rat. Rip the badge off their chest and take their gun off their belt. And take their gun belt off and then rip the badge off their chest. Yeah, that's just that was that's just pretty recent. That's pretty recent. Yeah, I know the story. Yeah, I saw that. So. Like, Twenty-two minutes on a traffic stop. Jesus Christ. Is that the girlfriend? Girlfriend? Twenty three minutes now. She's on the phone with your girl right now, dude. We got you covered. Oh, no, no, no. It's my friend. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. It's, it's, my, oh. it's just my friend. Oh. You're okay. <laughs> you're, you're good. You're good. I got you, dude. So, yeah, I'm glad I didn't park here for this show where you But yeah, no, there's so many, so many traffic stops these days where cops like to plant shit. And I guess not. I guess he's just being a lazy ass. I don't know what he's doing. I can't zoom anymore, so. <laughs> Half a battery, so. <laughs> if all else fails, we can just be recording. There you go. And I'll just get your footage and yeah. get your footage from you, and then I'll just post it on my channel. <laughs> Shit, I thought would have thought for sure he would have called for backup since I since we got here. Or hell, even since I got here. Or, you know, at least got out of the field. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I saw him get out of his vehicle soon, not long after I showed up, or not long after I came. He got out, I pulled around, busted the UE, parked, and started filming. So we're at Williams and Broadway, East Broadway, and this cop has still not gotten out of his car. When I got here, he just asked the driver for his driver's license and insurance and all that, and he's been in his car ever since. And this young lady and I are just sitting here watching this guy. Now we get 25, almost 26 minutes later. 26 minutes. 30 minutes after I got here, now he gets out of the car. Alright, that's as far as I can zoom in, so I am sorry, but. He gets out of his car. Yeah, so I just found this uh, dash cam uh, online. It's probably something you can look up too. It's called. Uh, Nexar, it's like N-E-X-A-R, you just type that in on like Facebook or something and like their page and you'll see several other ones and the one I got's like got night vision and shit and so it'd be good to save him for him too. So it looks like he got looks like he's got multiple tickets guys. Oh wow and we Yep. Uh, now here it comes back up. Now here it comes back up over almost 28 minutes later. Yeah, he's not so tough. Watch that. Watch when that badge and that gun gets ripped off his chest. See how big of an ego he gets. That's why we're trying to get rid of uh, the call it qualified immunity. So it keeps them from uh, being able to get away from, get away with shit. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why people are all always like, you know, and look, there he goes. But he's out of here. So, yeah, if you get really qualified immunity and you take the funds away from the police and all these lawsuits people are doing or getting money from, it's not coming out of their pocket, it's coming out of our pocket. So, guys, he, like I said earlier, he's getting... He's getting... Uh, Several tickets. Yeah, take care as you rip him off. Yeah. Hey, bro, meet me down to those apartments. I'll talk to you. Go down to those apartments. I'll talk to you. Go, yeah, go down to those apartments. All right, guys. So, traffic stop is done. Looks like he's got several tickets. Just go down those apartments, dude. He's out of here. So, of course, he does not have a... Uh, 
tag number on the back of his car. So, all right, guys. So I told this guy to meet me down at these apartments. So I'm kind of jogging a little bit just to uh, get him, see what he got pulled over for. So what do you pull you over for? Oh really? You pulled around it? Yeah, I pulled around. I didn't know what the hell. It was going too slow. I pulled around it. I should, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so focused on some other bullshit. Yeah. But good thing. Yeah, we were here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's uh, just pull right here, dude. Pull around by my car. But uh. Okay, so he probably wasn't thinking, but uh. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I appreciate that. Hell yeah, dude. No, serious, man. Oh, for real. Anytime I see any red light, red and blues, man, I do my best to pull over and get that shit on the phone. And listen, also, I knew it was nothing going to happen. And well, you never know with That's them, true. dude. You never know with them. I appreciate that. That's, when you did that, that made me feel like somebody cared about me. Oh, hell yeah, dude. But listen, I done been through a lot. Been about been a lot. You know what What's your name? Uh, everybody, just look on YouTube and uh, look up uh, Don't Tread On Me. Simple. Um, just Don't Tread On Me on YouTube. And uh, there, that's where this is going. That's my YouTube channel. Uh, basically, all I do is just cop watch. Okay. So anytime, if it's possible to see, you know, like red and blues, you know, red and blues, if I can pull over and get it on a video. Hey, that's kind of, that was, that was good. Because look, a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Did my girl come pick up? Oh, yeah, she picked up. She she probably, I guess the other girl also uh, called yeah, her back as soon as, as soon because as soon as the cop left, mm -hmm. got back in his car, I'm willing to bet you she called your girl and let her know what was up. We weren't going to let you sit there, no, dude. I know that. I know that. I, 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 I really appreciate that. Do yourself a favor, man. Go, if you can, always keep a cord, charging cord in your car. I cigarette just, lighter? But what it is, I just got my new phone. I just got a new iPhone. Okay. And I got a cigarette lighter, but the shit ain't working. I'm recording at the house. I stay right up the street, right there. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I but try to find a way to, uh, or even try and best uh, put some money away for a dash cam, dude. Mm -hmm. Put a dash cam like anywhere in this car. What's your name is again? Uh, don't tread on me. I'll tell you after. Okay. I'll tell you after. Uh, I got one coming myself, just in case that happens. Cause you never know, dude. You never know what that's kind of true. person. That's true. Hey, that's if, a good video that you're doing. Yeah. But listen, what you're doing right now, that'll help a lot of people out. God forbid he ever put hands on you. Cause listen, I would have had that shit on. I ain't video. gotta worry about that. God got me covered. But just for the other people. When they act crazy or some or they got somebody watching mm -hmm. so the outcome might be different you feel me yeah yeah that was a real blessing but no nah, hell yeah dude no i i got into doing it back in like 2019 dude so i've been doing it ever since i'm yeah, you see of, one too many videos of cops just acting like ignorant pigs trying to tell you, on trying to tell you. You but uh all right, guys. Well, that's the end of that traffic stop. I'll, uh... Hey, that tread... What is it called? Tread safe? Uh, don't tread on me. Yeah. Don't, don't tread, tread on me. me. I'll, I'll give you a piece of paper and write it down for you. Gotcha. But, all right, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.